Okay, this is a video of me doing training for the South Downs Way, which I'll be doing on May the 22nd on consecutive days, wild camping along the way. And um, it's 100 miles, so I'm doing training every week, and this is one of my training videos. So enjoy it and uh, watch all the interesting content because it's not just about walking, it's about this and that. There we are. <sighs> and that and this. It's not just about hiking on the South Downs. There's public announcements in relation to Bonfire Society. And there's little bits of videos of things we've done along the way and little things to keep you interested. So please keep tuned in, watch to the end and uh, donate uh, as we're trying to raise money for charity. And uh, go and check out our videos on Hike Outdoors UK or on Rutherford and Mark Cross Bonfire Society YouTube or Facebook page and uh, check out the Just Giving page and uh, give a little bit towards our cause. Uh, 100 miles we're going to be doing along the South Downs Way. So I just walked past some hardened hikers. I saw them checking my kit out. How cool is that? And uh, these are just little taste for videos of what it's going to be like and uh, me training basically with full weight on my back going up and down fairly big hills. So here I am, I'm uh, about to do Alfriston to Furl Beacon and uh, I thought I'd start this time by seeing my cousin Mark. So I've just been around for a cup of tea and met his cats. He's got some beautiful cats and I'll show you. And now I'm about to go straight up from sort of down there. Uh, I've got to go straight up there, which I don't know if you can see, but that's quite steep. So quite a, a steep start. Um, so we'll get on with it. So on video, it never looks as severe a hill as it actually is, but this is pretty steep as hills go. Oh. So get everything working. Just to prove it, that's the first sign I've seen that says steep incline. So on the last film, we went Jevington to Alfriston. We went over that peak over there and we came down into Alfriston along that hedge line in the middle there. So this time we're going out the other side of the village. So first gate. Uh, doesn't quite work. The post is a bit wobbly, look. Uh, so it's never going to connect. Oh well. Not, not good for the first one. Okay. Let's go. sense why they have those big handles at the top of the gates so they can reach them from the horses. So here we have one of these mounds. I'm just wondering what these are because there's a few of them. I wonder if they're all burial mounds or something. Uh, it's not over there but it's got a big dip in it. So um, here we go. It's 
going quite well. And uh, crack on up that hill over there. This is Andy and Jason, and uh, they've just been showing me their planes. Check this out, it's brilliant. See that antenna tracker for the video? Oh, right. Uh, in, the, in the running analog video, but in the top um, first line of pixels, if you can't see, there is actually GPS coordinates, but that is then interpreting, uh, so it's always pointing the aerial at me. Awesome. Saves me being the antenna tracker with my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, I've tracked along this path, all the way along there. So there's Arding Lai Reservoir over in the distance. Here's a little bit of information about that. Coming up to the top. So I think we're pretty much out of the beacon. I'll turn you around so you can have a look. There it is in the distance. That's gonna be awesome when we get there. So, tickets are on sale now for the disco. You can get them at RSM. The Cuckoo Line stores are for me at Five Station Road in Rolfield. So, uh, I know we've sold quite a few already, so get in there and get your tickets at £10. And that's going to be a fun old night. So, there we are. Ah, we made it. There you go. And the views are awesome over here. Check out these views. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see all the way around now. We're not quite on the beacon yet. So the beacon is over there in the distance, kind of halfway. And um, just keep going, the views are amazing up here. I mean, I know we're not on mountains or anything, but to be down on the south coast and to have this kind of elevation, it's pretty cool. That's where we've just been at the top of there. So anyway, I've got good feedback about the old uh, steam trains clips on the last video. So um, I thought I'd show you a few more. Uh, so um, this one here is the uh, Hyde and Dimchurch. I think it's Hyde and Dimchurch. It's the Hyde and Dimchurch steam railway, which is a mini steam railway. We have to check this out because it gives us a proper toot. And uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, check this out.
and we'll do another one whilst we're at it but let's not do a steam train this time um let's do some diesels going across a viaduct yeah that's cool isn't it we'll do that check it out here you go No worries. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Doing the old neighbourly thing there for the cyclists as I was coming through. Stopping them to get off and open the gate. And it looks like what we've got down here is some power gliders. And that could be very, very exciting. Uh, let's hope they get up in the air. Speaking of getting up in the air, I thought I may as well just show you like... Um, a couple of cool drone shots every time, as you know, I've got them. Uh, so I wanted to show you this one. This one is uh, probably one of my, oh, probably is my favourite drone shot that I've ever done um, over a golf course. And um, it was basically the British Speed Golf Championships. Um, and they've got this one long tracking uh, drone shot, which was continual, nice and smooth, everything almost perfect for the whole thing. So. Yeah, check this out and see what you think of this. So I just walked past some hardened hikers and I saw them checking my kit out. How cool is that? I must look like a proper walker now with my paramo on and my uh, brasher sticks and uh, what else have I got? Well, my uh, Osprey rucksack. So yeah, it must look pretty cool. And then I just had this other woman come up to me when I was stood having a look and said, oh, paramo's good, isn't it? Nice jacket you've got there. And she was wearing all paramo including the trousers. So, uh, yeah, it's quite funny, really. <laughs> what can you do? I'm not really a hardened walker, but I look like one now. You know, what can I say? Apart from my Grimsby Town hat, of course. You know. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, Grimsby Town did very well recently in the FA Cup. So, um, made the history books. Uh, got to bring Grimsby Town up because, you know, look there. There's the Mariners on my hat. An old time Grimsby Town fan. Used to be a steward at Blundell Park many years ago. Um, 
which was pretty cool because you got to see the match and make enough money for a couple of beers which was good and uh, but yeah Grimsby Town doing really well next game at Brighton so local I'm hoping I can get a ticket and go to that and they just made the history books by beating I think it was five teams that were above them in the leagues um, to get to where they are to get to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup uh, so that's made history and I think it's the furthest they've been since was it 1939 or 1938 80 odd years anyway so yeah followed Grimsby for years train shot When I get to the top of here, there should be an awesome view. I hope so. Let's see. Nearly there. So, it was a false summit. Oh, a false summit. I'm going to have to keep going now. We'll see over the edge of there. Oh, and then I don't know what it's going to be like the other side. Maybe we'll just head over. This way here. Uh, I think uh, over that hill heads to a place called Southies. But if you look over here, oh, behind me over there, that's Lewis. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it now. I'm gonna have to walk it now. It's only it over there. I've got to see what's the other side because there's a river, so hopefully, there's a valley. But here we are, we're on top of uh, Fell Beacon. It's awesome. Anyway, I'll make my way over there. We'll have a look at that. Then I'll have a cup of coffee and uh, something to eat. And then uh, head back again. See how far we've gone. gliding along. Must be quite relaxing. Over there, that's Lewis. <laughs> Don't think we're going to get any sun today at all, in any way whatsoever. So it's all a bit gloomy and a bit hazy in the distance. And there you go. And then the South Downs continue along. It's just trying to get up in here, but find the bells. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'm just having a coffee now. <laughs> I'm a triple chocolate cookie. Mmm, yum yum. Cheers everyone. So I've got to talk to you about Easter. So on Good Friday we do an Easter egg hunt. Rotherfield Village Hall on the wreck. We have two or three hundred kids come along. Different age categories, three different age categories. And when they're released from their pens to go and get their uh, find the eggs, it's quite an awesome sight to be seen. So that's coming up on Good Friday, and here's a video so you can have a look at previous a previous year.
Okay, you ready, nine-year-olds? Go! And there they go, they're running down the field, they're going to get the hill. Watch out for that football net, you don't want to get stuck in that in your way. And anyway, we've got one guy in the lead there in the blue jacket, and there's another guy coming through, guys, this is all happening, this is really happening. The East Rex hunting in Rutherfield, it's probably one of the most exciting events that goes on all year round for children. There you go. And yeah, so just look out for details on the Facebook page about that one. Oh, leave no trace. Just fell out of my pocket. Ugh. Can't be having that. Um, um, so yeah, Easter egg hunt. That's going to be good. And uh, we'll, I expect, to have hot dogs or barbecue or something outside. And there'll be some stalls and a raffle. And the Easter bonnet competition, fancy dress competition. And hopefully we'll have a company of critters coming along to show you all the critters. Spiders and snakes and lizards and that kind of thing. So uh, hopefully that will happen. But yeah, it should be a really good event. The kids will love it. And make sure you book Good Friday. It's usually around 11 o'clock start, something like that. But look out for the details because uh, they'll be out there soon. choose a broken one to do that on the only broken one that we had on the way and I choose that one to do the underneath the lock shot I'll try it again on another one so I'm nearly back now I've got a mile and a half to go I must say my back's feeling it today shoulders are hurting my knees are hurting. That's quite a few hills. And to be honest with you, I've been pushing myself massively on the way back, because I need to get back for a little family get together. So yeah, I've been bezing up and down those hills. Um, yeah, quite hard work. But I think I can easily manage 15 miles a day when we do the walk, so that's all good.
check out some of the places we've been. So right over there is Friston Forest. And we've been on the edge of the valley this side, which was where the white horse was. Walked all the way around there. And then if you look down there, that's uh, Alfriston and that's the church where we visited on the last um, video. So when I was a kid, I used to sit on this here bench and look out over the view over yonder and you could see all the downs and all the fields. But unfortunately, now it looks like this. It's all grown up, so yeah, lovely to be able to sit here, but you can't see anything anymore, unfortunately. Well, anyway, just got to go down this uh, steep decline here and uh, we'll be back. I just want to thank you for watching and remind you to donate. Go to the Just Giving page, scan the QR code. Um, remember to subscribe, write any comments if you like about on the YouTube uh, comments a uh, bit down below. Ring the bell so that you know when we release another video and you can keep an eye on us and see what we're doing. Uh, also, have a look at Rutherford and Mark Cross Bonfire Society Facebook page where we uh, put out all the information about what's happening with the Bonfire Society and things in the, uh, in the village. Hey.